Hello! So I often get asked which sewing machine is best for me. So lots of my pupils come to me having never used a sewing machine before or perhaps it was a long while ago that they used a sewing machine and they want to buy their own but they're not sure which one to go for. So I thought I'd record this little video to share with you my thoughts on what sewing machine is best for you and where I recommend you go to buy them. So the first thing I always ask my pupils is what's your budget because I always say you don't need to spend absolutely loads of money. People do say always buy the best machine that you can afford. I personally disagree. If my budget for instance was five or six hundred pounds the best machine that I could afford would have loads and loads of functions that I was potentially never ever going to use What's the point in that? You would be surprised how many people come through my doors with sewing machines that their lovely other halves have bought them for Christmas. They follow that exact principle. And some ladies walk in here with machines that are worth anywhere between a thousand and two thousand pounds. They're all singing, all dancing, quilting and embroidery machines. They take one look at them and they honestly don't know where to begin. It's so overwhelming. Um, and there are so many functions that they will never ever use. I've actually had quite a few ladies who have asked their husbands very nicely to return the machines to whence they came and buy them something a little more basic. So the next thing I would ask my pupil is when do you want to start sewing? If you're honestly gonna get your sewing machine out of the box and use it that very day and start sewing straight away, then buy whatever you can afford out of the models that I recommend. If, however, you're not in any hurry to get started, don't be in any hurry to go out and buy a sewing machine. I always say if you can, go along to a class, ideally with me, obviously, but go along to a class, try out your sewing, see if you actually enjoy it, see if it's something for you, and if it is, then invest in the machine that will be best for you once you've got started. So, these are the two machines that I recommend. A basic, which is gonna cost you about 100 pounds and no more, or something a little bit fancier. Now these machines are the Janome CXL301 and they're the machines that we use in class. The reason that we use these is that we hire all of our machines directly from Janome because we're a Janome sewing centre. So the 301 is about £300 to buy in the shops. You can buy them um, from John Lewis, they also sell them on Amazon um, and they are you are able to purchase them from various suppliers. However, they're about 300 pounds. Sometimes in the sale, they come down to about 250. If this is the machine for you, then I can recommend an alternative that is exactly the same machine. It has all the same knobs, it has all the same buttons, but it just looks a little bit different. And I'll cover that in a bit more detail in a second. This machine, as I say, is about £100. It's a basic model, it's not computerised. Again, it's a Janome. This one is a 2032 and is currently available from the lovely Hobbycraft. They also sell a very similar model with the same dials and same buttons from Dunnell Mill and various other places like that. However, again, I will give you some information in a minute as to where I recommend you buy your sewing machines from. So I'm gonna talk about each of the different machines, the different functions that it has, and why it's priced as it is. So we'll start with the CXL301. It's a computerized machine, which means it has a digital display here. Actually, that doesn't have to be scary. It can put a lot of people off, but all it is is exactly the same as all of these dials, but you have a button instead of a dial. There is no difference. What makes this machine better and more expensive than this budget range, let me tell you. There are functions that the computerized machine has that obviously the budget machine doesn't have that are quite useful to you when you're starting out sewing. The first one is this slider on the front here. Now this controls the speed. So although you still have a foot pedal, which works very much like an accelerator, the harder you press it, the faster you go, you can control it with more detail using this slider. If you have it, for instance, on the lowest setting, it doesn't matter how hard you put your foot on the pedal, it will only go at a certain speed. As you come up, 
When you're on the fastest setting, you're in 100% control with your foot pedal. And when you're in the middle, you're still in control with your foot pedal, so you can go faster, you can go slower, but it won't run away with you. That's a really handy setting to have if you're a beginner. And also when you're a more advanced seamstress, if you want to take something particularly slowly, you've got a fiddly curve or something like that, then it's quite useful to have. This machine has an inbuilt needle threader, which if you haven't got a very good eyesight like me, is really, really handy. This machine will sew a buttonhole for you in one step with the press of a button, which is quite useful if you are gonna make lots of garments. You don't have to use a foot pedal with this machine. It has a start stop button right here. Whenever your foot pedal is unplugged, the machine's controlled by the start and stop button. This has a number of uses. If you have problems with your back, for instance, and things like sciatica, and you find sitting still in a long position and using your foot pedal can be quite uncomfortable, then using the start stop button is a really good option. It's also very good if you're going to let youngsters use your sewing machine. So if their legs aren't quite long enough to reach the floor, they can use the start stop button instead. These machines, the more expensive they get, they become top loading, which means instead of the bobbin living in here, in one of these little fancy pants silver bobbin cases, which can be quite fiddly to thread, they're simply dropped into the bottom of the machine here. So you can see your bobbin, you can see when your thread's running low. I do find these machines get jammed up a lot less than these machines. However, when they do get jammed up, they do do it in style and you do normally need to get the screwdriver to the bottom of the bobbin case. If you don't need all that electronic goodness, then just go for a basic machine like this one. You're gonna select your stitches with a dial. You're gonna choose your stitch length with a dial. It will still do buttonholes for you, but there's four steps to it instead of one. You don't have that fast and slow speed, which some people really like and you don't have a needle threader, so you've got to thread your needle old school. Other than that, this machine will still do everything that this machine does, but you will get fed up with this one very quickly. If you really, really get into your sewing and you really enjoy it, and especially if you're coming to classes and using something like this in a class, you're going to get a bit frustrated with how this one just seems that much more clunky um, and a little bit slower. There are tasks that are a lot speedier and faster, such as changing the bobbin and the threads and things on these more expensive models. So just think very, very carefully. If you're not gonna do a lot of sewing, it's something that you just want to do now and again, get yourself one of the budget ranges. If you're gonna do a lot of sewing and you're really gonna get into it as a hobby, get yourself one of these machines. Even if it means you have to wait a couple of months before you buy one and you save up the money to buy one, or you perhaps get your family to buy one for you. So when it comes to makes of machines, obviously we recommend Janome. The reason I became a Janome Centre was because I had tried various different sewing machines. Janome were my machine of choice. I liked them, they worked well, they were fairly lightweight. Um, I'd heard good things about them and I enjoyed using their machines. So that's why we became a Janome Centre. That's not to say, however, that there is anything wrong with any of the other machines out there. But please do bear this in mind. If you're a mum or a new mum, what nappy brand are you going to buy? Probably Pampers. Why? Because it's what you've heard of. It's the name that's out there. So I can guarantee you, if you're looking at buying a sewing machine, I know what machine you're thinking of buying. <laughs> I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not gonna bad mouth them. There is nothing wrong with them. But please remember, that in the old days, they were made to last. Nowadays, they are mass produced, and so they may not last quite as long. You need to form your own opinions. Go along to a sewing center, pick them up, have a feel, see which one's heavy, see which one you get a feel for. Go along to a class, try some models out. Most sewing machine shops will let you try it before you buy. Now, if you would like to purchase a sewing machine and help us beautiful things by way of thank you for our little tutorial um, and also to raise a little bit of money for charity, I'm gonna tell you about a really great offer we have and a partnership with a great company. So although we rent our machines directly from Janome, we don't sell machines directly from Janome. We're not a shop, so therefore we can't have a retail license for the machines. We do, however, have a partnership with Sewing Machines Direct. 
Now Sewing Machines Direct is a company that I have used personally. My machines that I have at home are from Sewing Machines Direct. I purchase from them just like you would do. Pop on the website and order the machine of my choice. The great thing about Sewing Machines Direct is that they will often throw in loads of goodies when you buy your machine. When I got mine, for instance, I got over 60 really good threads, a scissor set and a free extension table so that I could extend my free arm on my machine. And that all came free of charge as an extra. All of their machines come with really good long warranties and their customer service is really good. So you can send your machine back to them if there's any problems and they'll fix it for you. Now because I've had such good experience with Sewing Machines Direct, I have an affiliate partnership with them and they give me a percentage of sales. Now I've decided that I want to share some of that income and I actually donate half of my commission straight into our pot here for MIND, the mental health charity. So if you purchase a sewing machine from Sewing Machines Direct, please do let them know that you were recommended by Beautiful Things and please let me know what machine you purchased and when you purchased it. I can then make sure that they send us the pennies that they should do and that they can get put straight in here into this pot for MIND. So I hope you found that useful. Obviously, you don't have to go to Sewing Machines Direct. You don't have to like this post. You don't have to subscribe to my channel. If you want to do any of those things, that's just lovely. Thank you very much. I hope you got what you wanted out of this little chat and it's helped you make a decision as to what sewing machine you should purchase. I shall pop down below the actual makes and models of these two machines and I'll also pop some links with some suggestions of similar machines that do exactly the same thing that perhaps have different numbers and different names. Thanks for watching. Bye!